In this video, I will review two of the chapter nine alternate exercises. Chapter nine is on accounting for current liabilities. Exercise nine five says that this company borrowed 120,000 in cash. So probably from the bank in the current year and they signed a 90 day, 9%, $120,000 note. When does the note mature? It's a 90 day note and it began on November 1st. This says on what date does this note mature? To start with, we subtract the date of the note from the number of days in that month. We are not counting November 1st. November 30 minus one means we're going to count 29 days in November. We're trying to count up to 90. We know that December has 31 days. So now we have 60 days and we need 30 more. That means the note is due on January 30th. How much interest expense will be recorded in the current year and how much in the following year? We're using 360 days as the number of days in a year, mainly because the numbers come out a lot better. Interest is computed as principal times rate times time. This is a $120,000 note. We will pay 9%. And the total that we will pay is 90 days divided by 360. We will pay 2,700. Of that 2,700 though, part of it will be in year one and part will be in year two. The part in year one will be 60 days, which is 29 plus 31. These two are in the current year and then this will be in the next year. 120,000 times 9% times 60 divided by 360. 1,800 will be in year one and the remainder will be in year two. Now we can look at the journal entries. On the date they received the cash, they debited cash and credited notes payable. Then at the end of the year, they had to prepare an adjusting entry to record the interest owed, they won't pay it until January 30th. But at the end of December, they need to record that they owe 60 days of interest. And that was the 1800. And we will credit the interest payable. On the date that we're going to pay the note back, we will reduce notes payable for the full amount. We will reduce our interest payable that we recorded at December 31st, we will record interest for the current period, the 900, and we will credit cash for the 120,000 plus 27,000 total interest. In exercise 912, we're going to look at warranties. This company sold a copier for $10,000 it costs them $6,000. They're offering a two-year warranty to the customer. In the next year, the copier required some repairs, which costs $300. They expect warranty costs to be 5% of their sales. And they'll record this with an adjusting entry at the end of the year. First question, how much warranty expense does the company report in year one? It would be 10,000 times the 5%. How much warranty liability will be recorded in the first year? So the 500, we haven't made any repairs, so 500 is the answer. For number three, how much is the estimated warranty liability at the end of the next year? They paid out 
$300 in repairs. So now the balance in the estimated warranty liability account is down to 200. The journal entries, when they made the sale, they received cash of 10,000 they recorded revenue of 10,000 and they recorded their cost of 6,000 and took it out of their inventory. The adjusting entry to record the warranty expense was that 500 debit warranty expense and credit estimated warranty liability. When they had to make some repairs in January, they want to reduce the estimated warranty liability for the 300 and they're taking the materials out of their parts inventory so we're crediting parts inventory. You also have a general ledger question related to payables and notes. This concludes the video on how to complete some of your chapter 9 exercises.